Welcome to another top 32 game. This time we have Sploosh versus Rookie Boy. Uh, so this is going to be a good fun one. Uh, with me on commentary, I've got Dizzard and Moray. How are you doing, Dizzard? I'm um, great. How about yourself? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, Moray, how's everything in Scotland? Yeah, going well. It's uh, a nice Sunday evening and uh, I'm on paternity leave, so life is good. <laughs> well, I'm on Easter holiday, so life is also good. <clears throat> so we've got uh, uh, a fun matchup for you tonight. We've got uh, two potential. We could have Black Order off. That would be uh, maybe less interesting. Um, but both players playing Black Order. Sploosh is playing Criminal Syndicate. I don't know where he got this idea. Clearly some really smart person came up with the idea of putting Criminal Syndicate with Black Order and Sploosh has copied it. Maybe that's a thing. Um, oh, he actually, went with Thanos. he actually added Thanos to the roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a full Black Order splash in this now. So he's got a uh, very similar to my roster in terms of the characters. Uh, his only difference is he's got Panther in over Voodoo and he's got Toad in over Black Widow to me, uh, which are both like uh, you know, eighth and ninth character or ninth and tenth character in the roster. Uh, in terms of crises, he's got uh, exactly what you'd expect, exactly what uh, I'm kind of running. Infinity Formula, Riot, Sparks, Extremis, uh, 3.0, Super Fast, uh, Scoundrels, Virus, Legacy Virus, McConnell, uh, Herb, and Research Station. Uh, and kind of the standard suite. Grievous Wounds is kind of spicy. Uh, that's kind of unusual. That's great for the Black Order tech, um, trying to stop the field dressings or the med packs that can happen. Um, and he is running Mission Objective. So yeah, uh, a really, really strong list. Rookie Boy, by contrast, is playing Cabal with Black Order. So again, we've got Thanos with Space and Mind, uh, but we've got a Sin Cabal option going on here. So going potential to go wide. And if he thinks the Sploosh is gonna drop Black Order, maybe that's what he's gonna do. Okay, let's have a look at these. All important priority role. I think Sploosh has it. <laughs> Uh, yes, blue in red here. Actually, let's put up the uh, stream view. Splush in red, only just, yeah. Got it, got it two to one. But uh, he's, I suspect, going to pick secures with Criminal Syndicate in your roster. That's probably what you're thinking. Although that might give him the kind of um, alien ship sen uh, senators and research station. Oh man, okay, research station is great for Criminal Syndicate. If we get research station randomly drawn out of rookie boys, then I think he might be in trouble. But yep, Sploosh is gonna take secures and rookie boy is gonna take extracts. What were the uh, secures rookie boy had again? Uh, do you know what, I didn't check. So it is research oh, station Sploosh. and yeah. infinity formula, Please. man. Uh, Sploosh is gonna playing be... syndicate on this one. <laughs> I think that's true. So uh, he's gonna get a choice of 16 or 17. I think uh, the smart play here is to put him on 16. Uh, if you put him on 16, he can't play the Corvus Proxima module in Criminal Syndicate. So I wonder if... Well, not, not, only, not only that, but it gives um, Rookie Boy the standard Black Order. Yeah, I think that would be the smart play here to choose 16. We'll see what they're building. Um, Sploosh hasn't hidden his stuff yet, but we'll see, we'll see how that pans out. Um, having a quick look at the terrain here. Yeah, split, spinning it around. So this is... Uh, rookie boy who gets to choose the table edge that he likes best. Um, and clear in line of sights down the middle for Gamma, for the, um, sorry, not Gamma, uh, for the researcher, making sure researcher. there's not, yeah, there's still not loads of stuff in the middle, however he puts it, but just making sure he's got some good, good attack vectors. That kind of does make me think, yeah, we might be seeing a little bit of Black Order popping out here. Yeah. I think with 16, um, I imagine they're doing 16. I don't see why he'd give Sploosh 17. But I imagine with 16, we're going to see the standard Black Order because that's decent at Researcher and decent into Syndicate on Researcher. Like, so that's the big thing here. Just in case anyone doesn't know what the standard Black Order at 16 is, does it? Do you want to dig into that? Uh, I mean, just Thanos, Corvus, Proxima. Like, there's that. But he also has options to run other things instead of Proxima, which a lot of people have been doing, I've been noticing, is just not running your standard Black Order just to throw people off, and it's still just as good. Like, Corvus is, like, the money maker. Um, Thanos is the control piece, but it's, like, something he could potentially do is run Thanos, Corvus, Mystique with Deception, and really upset um, 
CS's game plan on the researcher. I mean, we, you know, you're going into the likelihood of going into CS with a wide it's team, it sort of encourages you to experiment in that side of things because you're not as worried about um, um, having the having necessarily the the extra activation there. Not you don't about, need to necessarily uh, take advantage of husband and wife to get under. You're not versus a potentially tall team. Absolutely. Of course, the flip side of that is, uh, you know, does uh, F-16 get named? Does um, Spluce then think, well, maybe it is a Black Order off? How comfortable do you think he would be um, taking his criminal syndicate into the Black Order on the setup with 16 being named? Um, I think... So here's here's what I keep saying to some different people is... I think the issue if you're playing Syndicate is by now, especially in like a cuts game like this high competitive event, is you're looking at almost everybody here, if not everybody, knows exactly what Syndicate is doing. It's just can you stop it or not? So it's it's really just Ricky Boy looking at his roster and saying, How do I stop this? So he went with a standard sixteen. So Corvus, Prox, and Thanos. Uh Spoosh went Kingpin, Thanos, Hood and bullseye um i think this is like something that i've heard Spoosh talk about quite a bit is you're going into black order just bring thanos um fight thanos with thanos essentially which i think a lot of people in the cuts have kind of come to a consensus on because thanos is very popular in the cuts rosters so i also just realized as well with Spoosh is that he's only got the, he only had the one gem as well actually on his thanos mm -hmm. so he actually couldn't run standard 16 um he actually can sneak in there with a 15 <laughs> Uh, Black Order of all things. Yep. Yeah, and uh, I think that's an interesting, interesting take there. Uh, just need to get the clocks sorted. Dizzard, I don't know if you want to. Um, Dizzard could maybe be our resident uh, judge. I don't think we've got an official judge for this game, but Dizzard being uh, one of the Dark Illuminati, as they call themselves, uh, can jump into the other room. So, oh, they're, they're fixing the clocks now. It's all good. I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing oh, it right now. Doing it this week. <laughs> while, while setup's going on, just taking a look at the, the card's name. So um, for the Criminal Syndicate, uh, Climbing Gear, Med Pack, Grievous Wounds, Sacrifice, and All According to Plan. I think one of the big ones to note there was the Grievous Wounds, which um, you spotted out earlier on, Jacob, as a, a potential foil into Black Order field dressing shenanigans. Yeah, so it might turn off that Med Pack um, and mean that I mean, Hood can put out some damage. Um, maybe even Bullseye. I mean, I don't know. If you get someone left on like one or two and you've got a Bullseye activation in your back pocket, then using Grievous Wounds on them could be the difference. Yes. Yeah, on the flip side, only the one uh, restricted card um, being used by um, Rookie Boy with uh, no matter the cost, Med Pack, Execute, Face Me, and Mothership. So in terms of like a a typical um back order um layout what are you thinking of the differences here in the in the tactics cards um no matter the cost is cute um i don't run it but it's a great way of getting an early death blow on corvus uh face me is another way of pulling in characters and actually pretty good tech against um against criminal syndicate they don't tend to have good attacks so pulling in bullseye and saying okay you can get a four dash attack on me which maybe i get bleed and i have to take an extra damage from that um i think that's pretty good uh kingpin probably don't want to use it on but hood eh, maybe so i i like that it's just giving more problems um execute i can maybe executing i mean executing hood doesn't do a load he doesn't have loads of defensive dice but be interesting to see how that's used. I bet you it's going to be against either Thanos or um, Kingpin. Hmm. Okay, so Bullseye um, coming up, sitting on a point. Going to get some extra power. I feel like uh, you, you don't go after Bullseye. I mean, so if you're Rookie Boy, who is your number one target you're trying to kill? And why is it Kingpin? I think he needs to. All as much as he can right now to like make more things happen. Yeah, he can't. Maybe he's, he's got to act. Yeah, he can't done. stall is the yeah. issue. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I don't think he. I mean, he could probably just. Does he run his space? Like, seen, um, space mind. Yeah, space mind on Thanos. 
Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe he just risks it and double moves Thanos to bring somebody else up. But I, I don't know. Like, it's it's super awkward because you don't go like a bullseye because it's kind of just a wasted thing. But it is one VP that Spooky's going to be getting every single round that's going to have to get addressed eventually. Um, I mean, because now Spooch has three that he could just focus on researcher and not care. I think what I do here is, yeah, Proxima goes and sit on the back and we just wait. Yeah, but that's not happening. Um, sorry, not sit on the back. That's not a point. Um, she's going to go and sit in the middle. Yeah, that's a much better play than sitting on the back. Sitting on the back does nothing. I've definitely played this game before. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Thanos is going to move. Uh, Splucius Thanos is going to move someone off that central point. So, I, I think... This, so, it's almost... I, I can see this happening. To where he goes to Thanos, brings Proxima up, and tries to nuke Proxima with Hood round one. I, mm, I don't love that play. I think he's going to put... By the looks here, so Kingpin's going over to the side to score a VP. I think Sploosh is going to look to score four VPs here. He's got his two, and then he's going to put Hood in the middle. And then have Thanos move to at least one person off. With the last activation. Is he running space Thanos? No, mine Thanos. Oh, he's got mine. So he can he can move two people off the point if he wanted to. That's true, yeah. He could double move Thanos onto the point, mine gem one off, and cosmic portal another off. That feels pretty good. Yeah, so he's got a good he's got options in terms of being able to go for a very safe control opener, but it's uh, what's then available for his opponent going into round two. And yeah. realistically a lot of the plays are going to involve... Um, I mean, he's certainly looking for the researcher. We've, we've, he's now stated it's either going to be Thanos or Hood if he's going to be going for that um, that element of control who is going to be on the researcher. Mm, and he doesn't have the option. If Hood was someone like Black Cat, for example, he could have gone and grabbed a, a, a deep infinity formula. I mean, it almost certainly would have moved off by Thanos and probably beaten up. But, you know, I think the threat would have been there. As it is, it's it's Hood, because you want Thanos to go last, so he's going to activate Hood now, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And... I don't like him ranging on Corvus, though. I'd much rather range on Proxima. Like, why? Because he didn't have priority with Corvus. Why feed Corvus power? Uh, does he think he's far enough back um, to have Or is he measuring? Uh, no, he's rolling dice. Yep. He's got the rapid fire. He's got one damage. Yeah, got one through. And he's got the rapid fire, so he gets, gets to go again. So what, what I don't like about this, though, is like I think he should be targeting Proxima here, not Corvus. Like, yeah, you're getting damage on Corvus, but now you're just setting up Corvus to do evil things to you next round, and he has priority. So I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest. I'd rather go after Proxima. I mean, with the position he's taking, he, I mean, you can still get tractor beamed in by Thanos County from where he's standing right now. Yeah. Now, like Spooch's next move is just going to be um, double move Thanos, take yeah. Corvus yeah. Proxima off the point, then he gets Researcher, four to zero, round one. Well, uh, depending on exactly what where Thanos ends up, he might just move Corvus off twice. Mind gem him off and then yeah. cosmic portal him. If Thanos doesn't end up on that on that center point, then I I I I don't see Ricky Boy not going on the point though. Like he kind of has to to force him to use his Thanos that way. Hmm. And he's gonna punch, uh, punch Hood to try and get some power, I guess. So move up. I mean, unless he can move up there and cause a portal uh, splooshes Santos back, and maybe he won't be able to at that point. That's a cute play. Yeah, that's real cute. It's interesting to see whether he measures the range for. Oh, it's just oh, out. It's just out. <laughs> oh. He still has another move action, though. Yeah, he could move forward and just, like, uh, mind jump. I think it's away worth it. Mind jump hood away and then cosmic portal splooshes Thanos. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. It keeps Bleach from getting the researcher because he's not space Thanos and he can't cause a portal himself. Like, that's actually kind of interesting. I never thought about that one before. Like, if he just nudges Thanos up, mind gem, hood off, 
and then causing portal Thanos way, then it robs Bloosh of the research around Wand. Hmm. This Bloosh might be regretting some of his commitment to those side points. I mean, Rookie Boy is just completely ignoring that uh, scenario element and just focusing on, on, on the researcher. And I think for Black Order, that's probably the right thing to do. But yeah, we're going to see. I think he's just going to try and delete Hood from the game. <laughs> well, yeah, m moving him away. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually kind of sold on this. Um, like, walk up again and move Thanos back because Thanos doesn't have space. So he, there's no way he gets to the researcher if he's moved back. I agree. Whereas at the minute, that's, yeah, he's looking at it now. That he's oh, he's doing it. Yeah. yeah, there we go. That's, that's nice. Thanos taking a second. That's direction. clever. Going to max range four. And it's going to say bye bye to Splucius Thanos. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that play a lot. Hmm, interesting. Now, he might still be within a double walk, but you'd have to move Thanos out of the way. So Splish is yeah, clearly so going to clearly gonna look. Pretty sure it's move Cosmic Portal Thanos, move to at least tie Researcher. He's got Mind Gem, so he'll win Researcher still, it looks like. He's, ooh, he's just in three of Thanos. He's definitely in four. He, I think he's just in three of Thanos, so he's got the choice of Cosmic Portaling or Mind Gemming. Looks like he's Cosmic Portaling, yeah. Get that Thanos out of the way. I like that play. You don't see that. Like I think it's the first time I've ever seen that play. Yeah, that, that looks it. Still not good enough, I don't think, but it's it's as close, that's for sure. Ooh, I'd like to see him using a range two stick there. Oh yeah, yeah, he's good. He's got it. Okay, so he's still going to get that, and he's going to mind gem uh, Corvus away. Yeah, I was going to say I'd like to see that a little bit, a little bit more oblique, in order to try and make sure he's outside of range three. But yeah, that, that looks that looks out of three to me. Maybe I'm wrong. But four. I think to he's I think he could have shot him off to the side so that way there's no possibility for husband and wife to go off and completely gets Corvus out of three. This is close. Hmm. But four to zero. Hmm. And then Sploosh is going to get the choice of where to put the researcher. Yeah, I thought that Thanos play was going to keep his Thanos from scoring, but I guess just, just barely. Just barely. Yeah, yeah. He had a, a decent margin of error there. Yeah. So, again, are we all in on Thanos now if you're Rookie Boy? Is the plan kill Thanos? Um, I feel like that's a good plan. It's kind of like his only plan at the moment. <laughs> He's like got no viable options. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Proxima is going to have two power. Looks like he hasn't powered up yet. So, I mean, Proxima can double move anywhere in Mothership in Corvus. Won't be able to husband and wife, though. Uh, but maybe she like attacks Thanos, builds a power potentially. Um, that strike with Pierce has got a decent chance of getting one through. I, then she can long say, move somewhere, drop in Corvus. I don't, I don't love that, but I would I would say if Kingpin was easier to take down, then absolutely. <laughs> but like it's such a gamble going into Kingpin. You don't know. If it's defense, we're just going to spike. Um, it's super scary. Regardless of how good Corvus is at killing things, Kingpin can just take a hit sometimes and just not feel it. Like It's 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 such a gamble. Um, I think I would rather... I feel like in order, if I was playing long game and to win, I think I would do that, though. I think I'd go Proxima, chase down Kingpin, Asteroid M Corvus in, and try and take out Kingpin and Hood. It's a gamble, but I'd... Playing against CS, I just simply give up on the objectives until I can actually have a numbers advantage. Hmm. Okay. Checking the range of Proxima. Looks like we got uh, an attack coming in. Coming into Thanos. This is probably the strike. 
because it's got the pierce and it builds power. Ooh, Ooh. Three with the pierce with the hag crit that's hanging. That's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, take two. Yeah, it's going to take two. That's good. Good, good damage from Proxima there. I think. Ooh. Because she's going to be able to asteroid M um, in Corvus, and then Corvus will still have enough for a Glaive's Edge strike. So, so my question here is, I don't really see with how where, where Thanos is right now. If he's going all in on Thanos right now, why didn't he just death decree that attack on a Thanos? Because like, you want a death decree the Corvus attack after his mother shipped him, and he's got Glaive's Edge on it. That's where you get the most value out. Of your yeah, Thanos. Decree. Thanos has four power. Oh, look at his pollution. Set. They both have four power. Um. Uh, but you can also <laughs> you can only death decree once per turn, and the Corvus and Proxima rule triggers on the oh, same yeah, turn, yeah, yeah. so you That's normally right, do it on the turn. Corvus activation. I am not a Black Order player. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in fairness, I've not played into Black Order that much myself, and generally, I just they just terrify me. And the whole, the I think round one was ne uh, negotiated very well. And looking into round two, he has given the the toughest piece that he thinks is going to take the first hit, and offered that up. And then he'll probably start to unravel what he wants to do with round two by the look of things. Looks yeah. like he's looking at a face me. I feel like that's a mistake because if Proxima gets uh, if Thanos gets the wild, then Proxima might be out of. Okay, I I guess you can always spear throw back in. But she wants to make sure she ends her activation within three of Corvus. So Thanos now punches Proxima. I think this well, is he still has another action. So even if he does get the wild, um, I guess he could punch Corvus, can he? Is he within two? Ooh. He is. So he could punch Corvus and throw Corvus if he gets the wild. Yeah, he's not got great spots to throw him. And he's going to have Deathblow online. But that does bring him into Deathblow range, which I'm not convinced he was before. So that does seem solid. Um, but my experience with Corvus has been Glaive's Edge is better than Deathblow. So I would rather have a Glaive's Edge attack than Deathblow attack. So... Yeah. Hmm. Well, by which I mean, I'd rather, I... Mother I'd rather use Mothership to make sure I get two, uh, two good attacks. Um, with the Glaive's Edge, Death yeah. Decree... Strike, you're going to get enough probably to do another Glaive's Edge. All the rules out right now, figuring out the options. Sploosh is just considering okay, well, if I if I get that wild, uh, wild trigger punch on Proxima, where does that put her? So we think this is the Thanos face me attack into, I suspect, Proxima, given where the rulers ended up. So I guess, like, my, my biggest thing is if he punches and throws Proxima, she just walks back in and you still get husband and wife. If he punches and throws Corvus, you're not getting husband and wife anymore. Well, she's got another attack, so she can just spear throw and then place within one of Thanos. It's I guess, the, the, yeah, the, yeah, the spear throw, yeah. throw makes a, a big difference on that one in terms of... Um, it actually is a good choice to maybe in Proxima in that regard is the fact that you do increase the odds of getting the multiple attacks. That's fair. I'll buy that one for a dollar. <laughs> okay, so she's got eight dice. That feels wrong, but maybe he's... Uh, did he spend some power? He's doing his zero... Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. super cute. He's doing his zero cost energy attack, which Thanos doesn't use very often, and pumping it up to eight. Uh, he hasn't rolled... because he wants the, the push. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he hasn't rolled very well, but he has got that wild. Yeah. Big of the wild. Uh, two defense. So he is... I think he, he valued the wild more than the damage. Um, so he wants yeah, to have eight dice yeah, yeah. for the wild is better than six dice for the wild. So this pushes short and gives them slow. So she is going to have to use her spear to get back in rather than the move. But I think you're you're always going to rather spear. Gonna see, yeah, because it's automatic. Yeah, can I get out of three? No, I can't. And also you get to roll dice and maybe do some damage. Blue could be handier later the game goes on because um you know affecting the mobility for the husband and wife shenanigans. But yeah, quickly checks. I'm spear range. And I assume we're gonna see five dice come here. 
Do you imagine how toxic this game would be if you declared an attack before measuring? And if you're out, you just lost your attack. <laughs> oh lord. Um the 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 yeah, the, the that whole thing then leads to people just showing out, up with random um, bits of um, paper and books or you know <laughs> on their arm. Um Oh look. <laughs> yeah. Just in. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Okay, so no um, dam no damage on Thanos there. He uh, three hits, two blocks, and then one in eight reduction on Thanos, so nothing doing. Mm -hmm. But Proxima does place nice and close. She's got one power available. That one power is going to pay for husband and wife. So now Corvus is going to get to go, and this is where the real money is at. Now, six damage on so Thanos is doable, but mm, it doesn't feel like it's guaranteed. Um, um, I will say, though, I like the, pl the nice thing about the face me over Asteroid M is now he still has Asteroid M in his back pocket for when it's going to be super useful later in the game. Okay, it's a seven dice, so it looks like he's going for a death blow. Yep. No crits. Uh, he's got the trigger on the flurry, though, which is important. It's about a 50% chance of that, so it's not guaranteed by any means, but the wild shield trigger, he's managed to hit that. I'm so used to it being a wild crit. <laughs> Oof, a uh, Thanos takes a big blow there. Oh, uh, wait, I think looking at it, he was Glaive's edging. So six minus two... Is five, yeah. That yeah, was seven a, plus two for yeah. a death decree. That was a, yeah. no, that was a glaive's edge strike with death decree, which I think is the better move. So now we're going for looks like another glaive's edge strike. This time only five dice. Uh, four. Yeah, solid. He's got a crit coming in. Yeah, it's, uh, that's five. Five uh, currently. That is six. Six. Yep. Corvus doing Corvus things. Thanos is dazed. So I mean that face me place sets up for you know a number of attacks and Thanos is going to wake up on literally the wrong side of town. Uh, that's true. And uh, Sploosh is going to keep. Uh, sorry, Ricky Boy is going to keep priority to maybe take Thanos off the board. But most importantly, he loses his cosmic portal on his flip side. So all of that beautiful, beautiful control. Uh, he's now only got the mind gem. It does have a so, bun bunch of power for death trees think... though. Do you think Sploosh just bum rushes the researcher now? Um, or at least at the end of the activation, so that way he can at least score the two points for the researcher and guarantee two points next round. Uh, so let's just double check. So we've got Corvus and Proxima are both on that researcher. That is a bit of a problem. Yeah, and he doesn't have Thanos, so maybe Kingpin comes in and throws Proxima? If she can get in range, that uh, helps uh, just double move and then throw. Yep. Well, not only mentioned, but but Thanos still hasn't gone yet. He's got his cosmic portals. <laughs> and For sure. His mind yeah, yeah. So you're yep. going to be looking at a last activation, sit on a researcher. And you're right, you need to also displace one of these. Um, and if Thanos, if uh, Ricky Boy Thanos moves onto the researcher, then that causes all kinds of problems. This is kind of the nasty bit with Black Order, and it's come up very quickly in the top of round two. So yeah, he's running up Hood to kind of offer a piece. Um... Well, I think he needed to do that because otherwise Thanos just sits on the point and if he... blocks it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... So now, if you're a rookie boy, do you pass here or do you actually do something? Uh, I'm tempted to, I think, move Cosmic Portal Kingpin away so he can't do anything relevant this round. Oh, he he, he passed. Did he? Okay, cool. Yeah, because Sploosh is going again. Now Sploosh is going to be able to do something relevant with Kingpin, whereas if Kingpin is a, uh, a range 2 move further away from the Researcher, that Kingpin is not doing anything relevant apart from sitting on that point, and uh, he has to rush Bullseye in as well. Hmm. Yeah, this is the classic, always scary bit. First is Black Order. Um, beginning of round two, they get the KO on the on the piece, and you're still under the pressure to score. Yes, Bush absolutely needs to score this researcher again. Um, he's in a real bad spot because he's probably losing Thanos top of turn three, and it's going to be a very uphill battle from there. Especially with Corvus, is going to be on seven power. That's that's. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and like Splish just doesn't have the killing power like in this list. There's well, not, also like... that you know talking about um being able to finish him off that execute comes into play really nicely here. So that's using face me into execute um as a very as a very cute wombo combo on probably one on probably one of the toughest um pieces in the game. Uh so execute they've both got to pay one, so that requires Proxima to do a damage to Thanos to be able to pay for execute and husband and wife. Which isn't guaranteed, so uh, I think that's if the dice go his way, then he's going to lean into that. But I think he would be prepared to do without it if he could open up instead. And I know this is um, counterintuitive, but he could open up instead with Corvus and do husband and wife into Proxima. I've got to do some power maths in my Thanks. head there. I think the other thing that Spooch needs to do is get somebody up here so he could sacrifice um, from uh, an attack uh, away from Thanos next Absolutely, round. yeah. That's a great point. Uh, and it looks Sac like... Sacrifice is um, a pretty important one and Ooh, fairly confident another thing. Him standing where, he's, where he okay. currently is. Hear, hear me out. Right now, Spooch has enough for all according to plan. Okay. Yep, that might be big next round. Actually, that is very big next round. But does he yeah. use the power from Kingpin to actually throw somebody here? Or does he just go up there and potato and just wait to come back hard next round? I, I like the idea of all according to plan disrupting. The only downside to it is, like you say, you're, you're kind of surrendering a lot of round two for what's your... What's your best case scenario then coming into round three? What are you wanting Thanos to achieve? <laughs> Thanos doesn't Thanos doesn't die. <laughs> uh, 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 the biggest thing that I see is he all according to plan and then he's able to go all pop off with Hood. Um I think he's hoping that he does something to Hood, but I don't think he will to transform him. Um because if he was if if for some reason Rookie Boy attacks Hood, then I think Spooch is sitting off very well because then Hood is going to be able to empower Dark Lightning. That's Death's Decreed. Um, that is nothing to scoff at. Yeah, However, I, there's, but there is no reason for Rookie Boy to attack. All he needs to do right here is just reposition people, and that's all he needs to do. Like, And then all Bulls I can do is just double move in and contest the researcher, so that way it's not going anywhere. But Thanos can, like, actionless clear the researcher and then move on to the researcher, and now... Rookie Boy has it. That's two, which makes it two, four to two. I mean, Splish um, has created actually a bit of a question with what he's done here with uh, Kingpin and Hood because that sacrifice, he is saying, well, Kingpin's in range for sacrifice. Onto yeah. Thanos. Hood is in position for score. Bullseye can obviously get to the scoring up to the, the researcher too. So here's a puzzle for you to untangle with your Thanos. Uh, I think one... uh, with multiple with multiple avenues, which way are you going to go? And I, as you said, I he still has according to he's kept the um, energy um, Power, on kingpins, yeah. so he still has all according to plan as okay, so an ability to an respond. Attack coming in. Into four attacking dice. This feels Thanos? like uh, attacking four... kingpin. kingpin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four dice. Looking for the throw. No big hit though. It's not there. It hasn't got the throw yet. And nope. Yeah, no throws. And then Kingpin's going to reduce Good one damage. and take two. At least damage, you know. Yep. Uh, killing Kingpin is never a bad thing in against Criminal Syndicate. But yeah. what why that did, does is that gives Thanos spoosh. enough power to move both Kingpin and Hood away and then move on to the Researcher. So I suspect yeah. that's what we're going to see. Yeah. Uh, oh, mind gem. Nope. Yeah, it doesn't need to mind him. Then, then cause a portal on. Make him go real far away, but not on the point. Uh, Kingpin does have enough for climbing gear. He should move hood before he does that. There he goes. Okay. Yeah. But say, but you know, the only downside is if you know the climbing gear. Let's him get him into sacrifice, but then not all according to plan. Which is uh, better? Is that true? So Bullseye, if he stays where he is, is going to go to five. Hood is going to go to five. So that's not true. He'd, still he'd have enough. The other two. He'd, yeah. he'd have enough power for all according to plan, even if he climbing geared. Yeah. 
even even with um hood moving once because that's five nine just off of hood and uh bullseye uh, so kingpin only needs one yeah clears all their power out but it's pr almost yeah. certainly worth it yeah, i don't know if it, it, I mean, it keeps thanos alive to do some things um well it gives that it's like, yeah so this is where him not using mothership and using face me is actually really good is because even if thanos goes first and starts separating things and doing all that stuff he's just gonna mothership right back in I like, think Bush is finding the and so yeah. Okay, so Thanos is just Ooh, is stepping up. Okay, this is spicy. He hasn't put Thanos on the point. He still has another action. Oh, he attacked. Never mind. He did attack. Yeah. yeah. So he can. He move. has space jam. Yeah, but he can. Move. He has space jam. Ah, uh, he does. You're right. So he can move back on with space jam. Yep. He's looking at cosmic portaling, bullseye away, and then probably space jamming back onto the researcher really nice use of control on Thanos there to just disrupt um, air scoring pressure yeah, and yeah. keep um, Splush's Thanos isolated hmm. so, but so, now the pulls like the bullseye can move move climbing gear but it's useless because it's got yeah, three yeah. people on the point <laughs> yeah. so you don't climb gear bullseye he's out of move move range to get onto the researcher so you could climbing gear hood in. That's a possibility, but I don't think Bullseye gets in there. This is some some really uh, high level positional play from Rookie Boy here. Uh, very impressive. The, really uh, good. And, and I think this is the whole thing where you know we're seeing um, the, like say that that power of that face me of um, taking away options from Splish and you know adding an additional control element, just one more. Yeah, the more the more it comes up, the more that face me was bigger than that story M could have been. It's okay. just the consequences that come with face me could have been detrimental to the game plan. Yes, absolutely, and yeah, it, it certainly that could go wrong. But in terms of a gamble, it it it's got to feel it's, fairly it's... good at the, at the early <laughs> stage of the game yeah. with Proxima, who's it's... got the the one power, you know, the one uh, damage soak. Yeah, it has easily paid off for Rookie Boy. Um, like it's it is definitely the reason why things are the way they are right now. And then also he still has Asteroid M in his back pocket for whenever he wants to use it. So even Splush's Thanos is not gonna be doing a whole lot to disrupt him. So looking looking at his options. Cool. I mean, uh, hit and run, maybe just to get a bit of chip damage. He's probably within four now. But the trouble with the hit and run, does yeah. that take away power which you want to... Yeah, he's going he's just doing an attack. Just, oh, yeah, just, I think just the attack's the right thing. You're, you're kind of wanting the power. You want the power because realistically... Ooh, um... And what an attack. <laughs> I could see him opening up with oh. offering a plan and going with her to try and get rid of his Thanos. Bullseye has woken up and chosen murder. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think if Sploosh doesn't all according to plan here, it's pretty much good night, sweet friends. Yeah, it, I, it is pretty rough from right now, but losing Thanos at the top of round three is going to put him in a really rough position, especially with the way that the researcher is going. Mm. And he's, yeah, he's looking at the climbing gear options. And as things stand, Sploosh is, is he, oh yeah, bullseye's on top of a, so he's scoring one, which is, I guess, better than none, but it's still, Sploosh is not scoring at the speed that a criminal syndicate player likes to score. Yeah, and especially <laughs> so, so. Speed, you want to be scoring into Black Order, who is going to start taking away that scoring lead. Mm. Uh, somebody mentioned in the chat why is everybody keep mentioning the Asteroid M which is real funny because you look back in like a year ago everybody called Asteroid M mothership and now it's <laughs> uh, that is probably my fault <laughs> I keep saying Asteroid M I, I just don't want to correct you guys because I'm sitting going it, it is um, Black Order but you know I, I know what you mean <laughs> <laughs> no, good, good uh, clarification there thanks thanks chat Okay, so Rookie Boy moving that researcher back to a point where it can't be scored, I don't think, by either. Uh, so I... Them. 
Dumps. I think we see all according to plan. Kingpin dump his power and Bullseye dump his power, and then Hood try to do everything he can with the Death Decree. Because um... if Spoochman even the odds by getting um, Rookie Boy's Thanos, Thanos flipped, I think that's huge. I think that's more important than Corvus is right now. I still think his Thanos dies <sighs> to Corvus and Proxima. And Rookie Boy is happy with that. That's okay. fair. You can I, score. Uh, your Thanos is dead. Your hood has spent all its turn time attacking. You're uh, going to score. According what? to the plan, has been done. Three. You have been right where the powers come from. So hood is the man with the power. So is it hood or Thanos who's going to go off? Oh man, it's going to do it. Man, hood. Uh, his spender arcs. Yeah. So if he gets wilds on his spender, then it arcs to deal damage to other people equal to the number of wilds. So yes. that's. Uh, going into Thanos with more dice and then arcing to Corvus and Proxima. That that feels good. That feels good. Gets around so if he can if he can get super lucky here. Oh, um, also the other option the other option is you know getting getting shock. You know the other that spender also puts shock onto something. So yes, you know, taking so a dice I, off I, something. I think what it is is uh, how if Hood is within range three of Corvus, it's probably Dark Lightning Corvus. Yep. Yeah. And then rapid fire into Thanos. Um, you're limiting Corvus's potential, and if you can get rid of Thanos, that's huge. So okay. Just check if you can get within climbing range. Gear. Yeah, yeah climbing gear to get in range as well, because the potential of also having Hood to be standing for a sacrifice as well. Um, he's got the two out. I know he's probably thinking in his head because he doesn't want to show that he's got the fa sacrifice, but he he's definitely got to be thinking about it. Because if you're in range for your Thanos and sacrifice, you're much happier to have a dazed hood than a dead Thanos. So mm. that's could be a really that could be a really nice option. The downside is you're not lightninging, probably. Uh, he can do a he can do a rapid fire to build power, guarantees one power, and then lightning into Corvus. And one of them can be Death Decreed. So we'll see who we're going into here. So this is the rapid fire, and we're going. Is he going to tell us? No, they're not telling us. So three dice. This could be could be any of the Black Order, but I yep. suspect <laughs> it's Corvus. We'll see whether he rolls in that skull crit. Yeah, yep. it's Corvus. <laughs> Man, good roll from Sploosh. But uh, two of them good blocked. Luck. Yeah, still takes one. That chip damage is going to help. He's got the rapid fire. He's going to go into it again. Three. Nice again. Some uh, above average roll in there. And blocks Three. it all. Yeah, block, yeah, all blocked. So he's got to do a, a casual four to Corvus. Well, his... so he's made the call, and it does make sense because you're going to, you know, having the arc lightning again. You've got that backup. Um, of worst case scenario, you are taking a dice well, off of a man who likes dice. Getting that rapid yeah, fire and... was actually quite lucky because now Hood has still got one power for the sacrifice, which if he yeah. didn't get that second shot, he wouldn't have had. But yeah, an eight. Base. And again, um, supposed to pay attention to the the mind games episode and not showing the two range of um, you know <laughs> does doesn't want to show if sacrifice is an option or not. He'll oh, call he it is, when it happens. He has grievous woundsing, uh, so uh, he's not going to have the power for the sacrifice. Ooh, okay, so he doesn't he's think he's put grievous wounds on Scorpus. That is Big sad. Word. So that's yeah. a sad solution. And it doesn't deal damage, so Grievous Wounds doesn't trigger. That whole effect, that whole card is wasted. But uh, oh, wow. Corvus is shocked. And appalled. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty big right there. He's done, what, one into Thanos? No, that would have been reduced. Uh, yeah, uh, he could have done one into Proxima. Yeah. Uh, but he... Looks like he hasn't. Maybe he's missed that trigger on the wild. And it is one of those things where it so, says choose a number up to. And so you can choose zero, yeah. in which case it is not a mandatory effect. So we're not going to step in and remind him of that. So he appears to have chosen zero. Possibly with the disappointment of that um, 
Uh, disappointed with that roll. He's gone and mis just uh, misremembered how that. I think. I think when he lined us up, I think climbing gear didn't get him within range of Thanos, and he could tell. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I think he might have been a wee bit short, but at the same point, it was. Uh, I also think it's smart not doing an ask your point to to think it through or just keep it blind. Um, yeah. Man, I feel bad for Switcher now. That, that, oh, that, that should have been at least one damage. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wasting that Grievous Wounds as well. Feels real bad. Yeah. Okay, we're seeing I mean, five dice. And... This is probably into Thanos. Yeah. yeah. It's probably Proxima because he hasn't paid for Glaive's Edge or anything. Or Death's Decree. Yeah. This is Two light. coming. So no damage so far. No damage. That's good. Well, uh, I think Spoosh kind of needs needs some some dice to go his oh, way. Oh, damage! There we go. Uh, yeah. Even if she uh, she could pierce, mm -hmm. no, even if she pierces, wouldn't have done a thing. Okay. Well, right. she's been a wife now. Yeah. Pay him one now. Here comes here comes the meat and potatoes. Yeah. We had we had the entree. It wasn't very satisfying. Now here comes the big boys. Do you think, do you think he executes here? Oh, he, he can't. Has, can't, he can't, power. can't. Yeah, he needed the damage. He needed the damage from Poxima, um, which so we, yeah. I'm sure he would execute if he had it, because it it's such a big moment if he can remove the Thanos. But doing nine damage to Thanos is a is a tough ask. Let's see what we're, so we're getting: three power and two power. So this is a Glaive's Edge, uh, Death Decree strike by the looks of things. Six dice because of the shock. Skull Crypt come in there, but looking at four at the minute into a one plus one is two blocks. So going to take two, no blanks. So that Glaze Edge not helping at all. That's a shame. Three skulls, three uh, shields off um, a Glaze Edge. Mm -hmm. That always feels bad. Uh, one, two, three, four. And you've taken two there, right? Um... Oh, Pierce. Let me see. Yes. Yep. Pierce. Yeah. That makes it three. Okay, we're getting some more dice. Spending down looks like for a glaive's edge. No, uh, this is sorry for a death blow. So six Oof. dice with the shock and ouch. It's good to see dice even out right here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Well, it is a dice game, and uh, uh, things yeah. you thought were going to happen. So, three hits into one. Thanos going to take one. Spoosh needed that. Oh, yep. Spoosh took way too. Wait, why did he uh, take three? Did he, oh, he, did he do a Glaive's Edge? Uh, did Glaive's. Glaive's, Edge, Glaive's Edge death blow. Yeah, he Glaive's Edge. He spent a lot of power there. Okay, yeah, there it is. Okay. The last one. Yeah. So, yeah, the Glaive's Edge. I mean, it's still a standing Thanos. Yeah, yeah, it's still way better than it could have been. And, it, yeah, and yeah. Um, he's got med pack right as well. Right now, there's nothing stopping him as well from um, getting the med pack on too. Yep. So, this was looking pretty bad for Sploosh, but now it's coming doing... around. It's coming around. Yeah, that, look, that, that... the main thing is Thanos still standing at the end, and um, again, it's that it's Proxima not getting the one point to be able to open up the uh, the execute to be able to deny the dice, which really could have helped seal the deal. And now Sploosh has at least got the option, and he's got the heal um, yeah. down on Thanos straight away with the med pack. That was uh, the the no brainer, and uh, he looks like he's out for vengeance on uh, Corvus. This is a mind gem on Corvus, sending him away to try and protect Thanos, I guess. And then. Uh, gets him off the point, keeps him away from his um, yep. his uh, injured um, Thanos, at least asks for more power to be spent, like you say. Brings up again how Face Me was really powerful um, to keep Mothership still available. Um, and what do what does Thanos wish to do next? Probably cause it pulls uh, Proxima to get them separated, no. even though he has asked for a damn still of, or Mothership, rather. Cosmic Portal's only on Thanos' healthy side. So oh, you're right, he's injured. Yeah. I'm... Yeah. We're, it was so early in the game, I forgot he was already injured. Yes. <laughs> Not often you see that happen, but it does happen. And Thanos is just going to run for a point. That's hilarious. 
Yeah, it's just out. It's just out of a single move. So he's putting out a two there, thinking that's a range one and um, two inches. Range one is uh, one inch and then two inches, which is almost identical to the size of a 50 millimeter base. It's out by 0.4 millimeters, but he's proxying there and seeing Thanos cannot single move and be in on that infinity formula, which is sad. Um, but good placement from the face me move there. So he's got to choose, does he want Thanos to get on that point and advance the score? Or does he want Thanos to throw a punch into someone? Yeah, all that power and... Uh... Well, he could do Not... two eight dice attacks and still have some so... power online for, to Death's Decree when somebody else wants to do something like Kingpin. So trying to get that... I, uh, I have a thought. Headbutt attack. I have... I have... Something that he probably should have done. Um, I feel like he should have done his energy attack in a Corvus twice. Or at least once, anyways. Because it's the same distance of the push, um, and you're putting damage onto him. And then probably Bullseye could probably finish him off at that point. You see, I strongly disagree, because what you're doing there is you're giving Corvus more power, and you're dazing him. So when, so. when yeah. you Death's Decree, he gets four dice, not two. Um, I guess that's fair. Yeah, because Bullseye needs to win on points at this point. He just needs to keep his yeah. point lead and just sure. survive. The attrition yeah. is not Sploosh's route to victory. Not currently, not with the team he's got and the position he's in right now. He, I mean, unless, I mean, dazing Thanos. Generally, there's there's three lines of victory against Black Order. You can uh, KO Corvus, you can daze Thanos, or you can outscore them. And he hasn't. So been... he's doing power up attack into. Yeah, somebody. this this was eight dice into someone who's got three. We need to stop rolling dice because they're not doing him any favors. <laughs> it's a great block. <laughs> uh, it looks like that's no nice. damage, and therefore that was into Thanos. Yeah, but he got the yeah. wild, so he gets to push and slow. So that slow might be relevant. Uh, he gets the push as well. Bullseye in uh, can't be feeling too happy about the number of things getting thrown in his direction. <laughs> well, I mean, Corvus has already gone, and he might run up to like the the top left, uh, Infinity, uh, you know, the one on uh, on Rookie Boy's side, just to go. I don't want to stand here anymore. Um, he hasn't got the power of hit and run, but he could throw. No, it's not going to generate too power. I, I, I'm sure at the end of the day, but you know, if Bullseye's still standing, he, he probably is just going to run to the opposite seat of canister. Well, I think Thanos is going to be moving in towards the researcher anyway, so he's going to at least be using a space gem for that. I think the key thing here is don't put Thanos within range two of Bullseye. And in fact, it looks like Sploosh has gone. Do you know what? I don't want to move him any closer. <laughs> he's just going to stay there. Yeah. I think he's trying to. <laughs> I think cause he keeps pointing at the edge of this building. I think he thinks that it's in the way, but he should be clear because he's like that's like middle of his base, so he should be clear to push past it because of the shadow of the building. Yeah, so with that little overhang. But I honestly think if he has an angle still to push him, um, because that's over half of his base. That's not in the front half of his base. The question is: Is is there any value in the push? I don't think so. I think he should just attack him again. But I, I, I use violence all the time. What am I talking about? I don't know how to play control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, all this uh, careful measuring and placement, and uh, I'm, I'm just here for throw large quantities of dice at one another. There's people, yeah, right. there's people in the chat saying the game is pretty much over at this point. I'm not sure I agree. I don't think it's over because there's still Splish still has his Thanos standing. And I think had it, that gone down, I think the, the routes to victory close out ex greatly. The only problem that we have that Sploosh has is, he, as you say, he hasn't tackled really any of the three main methods of victory versus Black Order. He hasn't managed to knock out... Um, he hasn't managed to knock out Corvus. He hasn't managed to daze Thanos. And scoring-wise, he hasn't got enough of a lead. So he needs to find one of those really this round. Mm, so Thanos has gone on the researcher, which, given that he's injured, 
Maybe he's thinking. I think he's trying to bait and sacrifice. Oh, Kimbe doesn't have power either. Yeah, never mind. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, he think, could be trying to bait something. He could be it, like, he just hey, I'll move Thanos here. With with one action, he didn't have a whole load of other good options. Yeah. Um, so. That, or he's hoping to Thanos lose again, which is a little more rare. Hmm. So Ricky Boy passed, and Sploosh is activating Kingpin to go and stand on a point. Uh, he's got out that five stick. I think he's looking at that as the walk punch range of Thanos. Is is basically a five. So seeing. Oh, I. Okay. So uh, Hood's still on the point. So technically, right now, Splish has two with Hood and then one injured. Sure, so... but he's got his Thanos still to go. So Hood is not going to be on that point. Like this activation no. is about to happen. But Bullseye could easily get onto the point. Yeah. But then he's scoring, what, three? That doesn't feel like it's enough. I mean, it's better than scoring less than three, for sure, but... Yeah. But it also controls the researcher. I think that's bigger. Yeah, putting that researcher... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm really curious why I put Thanos there. I don't... I, I can't, I'm trying to find a reason, but I don't know. My biggest, my best guess is he's trying to distract him and keep, make him forget about Bullseye. Uh, I think even so, just killing Thanos feels like the right thing to do right now. Yeah. What are we looking uh, at? If he kind of pulls Corvus back in, that'd be interesting because then he can't do anything to Bullseye. And then Bullseye just goes and stands on the point. Oh, it looks like the play, yeah. So he's paid two. Corvus is coming back in to be on that researcher. Okay. So he's mind he gems. gems or walks onto the point. He's mind gems. He's cosmic portals. He's so space another... gem, punch, punch, uh, Thanos. Spent another two to put Proxima on the researcher as well. So that's two. Maybe move Thanos in himself and take one punch into Thanos. He's got Space Gem still. Oh, he's got Space Gem. Of course he has. So Space Gem, punch, punch. Yeah, that feels good. And then you take the Wild on the second punch. If you get it. Mm. Okay, here comes a punch into Thanos. Oof, all blanks from Sploosh. Take him two. So he got the wild. I suspect he won't take it in order to have another punch. And actually, I'm not sure he would take it on the second one either. Because he's in beautiful range for Corvus for the beginning of next round when Rookie Boy is going to have priority once again. He's going for it. Oh, he is. Maybe he's trying to maybe push him into the car and maybe keep within range of Corvus. I guess he could throw an eight dice energy into Thanos, but I think I'd probably rather have the power on Thanos. Yeah. Maybe a seven dice and hold one. He's going to gain three, go to four. That seems fine. So you could do a seven dice energy. Or Cosmic Portal pulls I now. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, a nicety there. He put out the um, put out the Towards Away template, which you can only do once you have committed to doing the push. So it's possible this push was like, hey, are you definitely doing the push? And then he said, well, I don't know. I'm just looking. Uh, but just the AMG ruling on that is that's not a movement or a distance you're measuring. You're measuring an angle there. And that's not something that you're allowed to pre-measure until you are actually engaged in that active um, movement that happens. Yeah, it's declare the push, put the tool down, and then you're doing the push. You're not, you can't backtrack, especially when you put the angle down. You're putting it in that angle. You can't toy with it. Yeah. Uh, why is it important for Bullseye? Uh, Bullseye wants to be in death degree range. That's what's going on. I was like, why is Bullseye need to be in four of Thanos? 
Then I went, he's oh, wait. He's above his head. He's good. Yep. So he's sitting on that on that infinity formula. He's in range four of Thanos, so he can get extra dice, six dice on his, I throw a dagger at you. Turns out he never misses. Uh, this is into Corvus by the looks of it. Looks like uh, three damage coming through. Uh, I guess they're in skull crit. Skull. Yeah. Uh, so two, or one rather. Uh, he's going to get four down to three, get, down yeah. to two. Yeah, two, three. And the bleed from the wild is nice. So Thanos has zero sacrifice targets for the beginning of next round. And it's um, gonna, they're going to score two each, but that research is going to move. Not close enough to auto score next round, but it's going the wrong way as far as Spooch is concerned. I think Spooch is okay right now, just because of the fact that Bullseye can almost trivially take out Corvus. <laughs> Because um, Chorus, Chorus just takes one for the bleed, and then Bullseye does one auto damage. You, that's not. You're not wrong. You're not wrong there. Um, let's do a bit quick bit of math. So we've got three rounds left. If Sploosh scored three each round, and that seems speculative, if he just ignored the researcher after three rounds, he'd score nine. He'd go to sixteen. Um, Rookie and boy 12. is going to score. It'll be 12, which will be 16. <laughs> so Spooch needs to get the researcher at least once. Uh, no, because he's not going to score four for the researcher this round. He's going to score two, and then he's going to score four, four. So that's 10. That takes him to 14. Oh, so Spooch just needs to hold the infinity formulas and survive. Well, and, and actually but, has it. if Rookie Boy realizes what he's doing, then he needs to get and score the spare infinity formula like twice. So there are routes, there are routes to victory for Sploosh still. Yeah, he's not out, and I think it's easy to tell like that is what he's doing because he's through Kingpin all the way over there in the corner. Okay, getting defense blocks for once. <laughs> uh, two. Thanos is living. It looks like so far. Proxima still no power to execute. Yeah, um, Proxima not doing a single damage to Thanos after, his, after he flipped has been difficult for him. And Corvus is still shocked. So Thanos is death decreeing. Looks like we've got three dice. This will be a seven dice Glaive's Edge by the looks of it. Six dice, sorry, because of the shock. But blanks counting. Uh, that's a big one. That's six. Yeah. With that's... a pierce. Oh, so is taking that's, that's a dead court. That's a dead Thanos. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and again, in our maths there, we didn't factor in the KO for Thanos. So, Ricky Boy's going to get a VP there. Go up to five. Boosh still has his out, though. He does. Um, except that his Ricky Boy's Thanos is going to move at least one of Sploosh's characters off those points. Guaranteed. Whichever one goes yeah. on there first. And in fact, he will now hold Thanos until two of them are on points. And then say, well, just no. So maybe last activation, Bullseye scores the Researcher feels pretty good because that denies him too. Bullseye's going to die. Oh man, the maths gets complicated. So if Rookie Boyd scores no more VPs this round, because he's activated with Corvus Proxima. And Sploosh is able to double move, pick a character, probably not Kingpin, but Hood or Bullseye. I I reckon he'll be able to get Hood onto the point. So it looks like we've got a death blow coming into Bullseye potentially. Hood. Oh yeah, Bullseye, sorry. But yeah, it's hood would be two uh -huh. dice. No blocks. I don't think I don't think he glaives edged this. I don't think he had the power. One, two, three. He's got the pierce. Doesn't matter because he doesn't need to pierce. Three, four because of the skull crit. Cover us a three. Ah, cover. So bullseye leaves. Uh, did he get the trigger? No, he didn't get the shield he needed for the flurry. 
So Corvus is going to get a move. That might put him on the point. So it does Bullseye just kill Corvus here? I think he has to. Like, yeah, flips Corvus, but I think he needs to do that, and then Hood scores the point at the end of the round. But Hood counts double, so he doesn't need to kill Corvus. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. But Thanos, Thanos is the issue. Thanos is going to portal Hood off of it. Well, Thanos is on, what, two power? So I think he portals, bullseye, moves, punches punches Hood. Something like uh, those Med pack on Corvus. Yep, which takes uh takes that away. Oh, because he took the bleed damage. That's why he's on. So he's yeah. healed three, got to one, and then taken one from the bleed down to two. So does Blue just go with Kingpin to kill an activation here? I think so. And I think you position Kingpin just a little bit closer to the action so he can potentially get onto a researcher with two moves, which he just can't at the minute. So I don't think anyone stands a realistic chance of taking out Thanos. If anybody does, it's Hood, but Hood has got like, one one power. So he yeah, needs and to, the most he's gonna have is well, he'd get what like three. Rap, yeah, well he'd rapid fire, hit the rapid fire, go to three, do the spender, but you need some serious yeah. dice spiking for that to pan out, and he's not inside two. Uh, which Hood? No, it's all rage three for Hood. He's, he's doing it. Okay, well, I think it's... He's... Nice. he's... Um, Thanos is four minutes to take us running. Yeah, he's, he's got the got, got the rapid fire. So he's going to get to go again for free. Which he might as well. Nothing. Uh, nothing doing. Then is he going to do Dark Lightning or not? Nah? And with Bullseye on one... I think Thanos just is going to daze Bullseye. I think this might be the round it slips away from Sploosh. He's, he's Dark Lightning. Yeah, he's gone for the Dark Lightning. No blocks. Not very capitalistic, though, for Sploosh. Yeah, he's going to get two through, and he might get a splash onto Proxima. Yeah, onto Proxima. Which is going to give her the power that she's been lacking for ages for executing someone. <laughs> and and, and yeah, then okay. be taking yeah, shock and Thanos is not not awful. Thanos yeah, could be taking two damage here though, shouldn't he? Oh, he was attacking Proxima. What? I'm no, confused. Yeah, no, no, he attacked Thanos. Okay. And he splashed gotcha. onto Proxima, and they've now sorted out the damage and the power on the Thanos. Okay. Now, now it's there. <laughs> uh, I bet you Spooch is just sitting there wishing he would punch Hood so he could transform. <laughs> <laughs> Kingpin feels a little out of the fight right now. Yeah. I don't see Bullseye surviving. Uh, I mean, strange things have happened. Thanos is staggered. But shocked. It looks like we're going... Sorry, she's shocked, not staggered. Yeah. Staggered would be huge right now. <laughs> yeah, where's Black Cat when you need her? It'd be interesting to ask him if, if, like, in retrospect, Hood versus Black Cat was the right call at uh, this creation. Hindsight's a wonderful thing, obviously, but I think he knew what Rookie Boy was going to play. Some delay happening. Okay, uh, two power coming off Thanos. This will be, what, a six dice energy? Yeah. Into Bullseye, who has cover. Three. No blocks. Yeah, it's a day's bullseye. Ooh. 
Oof. That's an oof right there. Uh, yeah, it's not going to give priority to Sploosh. Nope. So he uh, didn't choose to pass with Thanos, recognising that Kingpin is not having an impactful activation this round. And of course he's still got Space Gem, because sure, he does. Um, and he's got another action as well, hasn't he? So he can get basically wherever he wants, but Corvus is going to score that Researcher. And Spooch only getting one this turn. <laughs> okay, just to make doubly sure, although I'm absolutely certain that Kingpin can't get there, he's put Proxima on there too, because why not? Yeah, and yes, this is just really rough now for, for Spoosh. So I was uh, nipping off to pick up the other co-host here. I've got Hamish. Ah, welcome Hamish. <laughs> His first live stream. Yep. You, you may hear the hiccups in the background. So, yeah, I mean, this is just looking really rough now for Sploosh because the, the points gap isn't really far enough away. And, um, again, just, you know, as I left, none of the uh, things you want to achieve versus Black Order seem to have been achieved. So... It's uh, where where's it come? Where, where's he looking at now to kind of do things? Is it? Uh... I mean, uh, if he had a spike big attrition turn and was able to daze Thanos and before he activated, then I can see him getting out enough of a lead potentially. I th yeah, I think Kingpin's got to abandon that point. I don't think that point is big enough compared to what Kingpin can achieve in terms of the longer term game plan so he's going to score none this round which is incredibly sad uh he's calling game uh, okay he's called yeah it. he's conceded he's just he thinks there's, there's no no exit so will i mean i i i can see that because realistically at this point researcher goes on that's black order now head and points you have none of the characters have been days you've not ruined any thanos is still all his control options available Right, guys, he really needed that dark lightning to pop off earlier. Yeah, if we jump over to the other table and hear what they're saying. See you in a second, guys. I might have been able to put Corvus here, and that would have given me an out to push him away. Uh, which would have made things, but... Yeah, but uh, you don't have an active... Well, I mean, you only have an attack. Oh, I, and I, I couldn't I... push Corvus away and turn one or whatever, or two, mm. to make him go that way. But I had mind gemmed him over here, and I could have mind gemmed him here instead, and then he would have gone away. From oh, the me. yeah, the, the turn before, yeah, yeah, I get. Yeah, it. I thought yeah, you the were saying me, the, the face me attack would have pushed Corvus. Yeah, out. yeah. If you had, and then uh, I would have died, and I could have med packed. So yeah, yeah. Probably Every, everything. Yeah. yeah, everything changes if that doesn't happen yet. Yeah. Hey guys, thank you for an entertaining game. Uh, congratulations, Ricky Boy. Commiserations, Sploosh. Thanks. Tough. Uh, if we face me, we're just talking about the face me play. Yeah. The game, but I, I misplayed mind gem. I should have not had Corvus backstop. I just didn't know mm, to do that yeah. until after it happened. For sure. Yeah. Sometimes you have to. Uh, I didn't see that coming. Face me is not a card I've played against a lot. Even though I love the card, it's amazing. <laughs> but I, I think this game as well. We saw the power of face me being used very effectively there to 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 cl you know close the trap in on um the Orthanos. Yeah. yeah, like I hate to blame Dice, but he kept getting lucky with wild rolls, and the wild roll gave him the power to do all of that. Because I kept blocking one, and he kept piercing it. So yeah, that one yeah, I got, I got a few of those. Yeah, that paid for husband and wife and face me. And if he had not rolled a wild, anything a crit, a hit, then I don't take that extra damage. He doesn't have husband and wife online, and then I'm fine. So. I, there's a lot of like lucky breaks there, but I, I still messed up by not mind gemming properly because I didn't see the play. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, I want to go back to turn zero, so where I always like to start with these with these questions. So, rookie boy, you chose sixteen. Was you thinking that Black Order was definitely the right play on this setup? Uh, well, I didn't like the the secures, but uh, the extract will know it's such uh, important that you. It's even more important than the secure scenario, I think. And 16 was perfect for my blood, but not for his, because he has a, a 15 uh, core Black Order. So I thought if he wanted to bring Black Order, he would have to 
play a point down. Mm. So I thought that was the best play. I didn't do the maths on on his roster, so I didn't know he was going to bring Thanos with this setup. And if, I don't know, I tried to put all my guys in the middle just to try at least to tie the first uh, round, but it was impossible. His Thanos moving last uh, uh, did a lot of uh, work, but he had to stay there, so that was my chance. Going 4-0 in first round wasn't really good, but I think uh, it was good enough because I had a prior and I could start working on Thanos. And I got lucky with dice also. That, that helped a lot. Mm. Yeah. And... Dice, I blocked like probably three or four straight attacks from Proxima in, throughout the game, but unfortunately not the turn he has faced me. Like, yeah. Because yeah. he doesn't have faced me, right? If he doesn't hit me and he hit me enough to get all that power. So it was a massive swing in it. And it was, you played great, man. I, I mean, I loved, so I kept doing the math and thinking, okay, I can tie two people on the researcher, but you kept putting three, which was very smart. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you kept like locking me out of a way back into the game, but yeah, you know, that whole face me scenario was just, really poor luck for me unfortunately mm -hmm. yeah because you answered my face me with an eight dice attack and did nothing so that was also pretty well, clutch yeah i i i don't know if you guys noticed but i went from like some insane hail marys because i just had to like yeah my other out there was i one shot proxima so husband and wife can't trigger mm -hmm. yeah so i just went for as big a dice as i could roll and hoped i got lucky yeah you're right um but again i didn't and I had two eight dice rolls literally do nothing this game. Mm. Yes, so. yes. And Hood, Hood didn't do anything. Yeah, also. he tried to. Yeah. It just didn't work out. But yeah, and then at the end there, I tried to have Hood kill Thanos. Because mm -hmm. if Hood kills Thanos, then Bullseye can take the researcher. And I can basically put Kingpin in the corner of the map and I auto win. Mm -hmm. um, but sadly, uh, I, I mean, it was a Hail Mary. It was unlikely as hell to actually happen. Yeah, but yeah I think it's something amazing to happen or the game yeah. is lost and it just didn't happen. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think the getting Thanos taste turn one was uh, awesome for me. And yeah, yeah it, it, it made you have to take those Hail Marys yeah, more often. Yeah. Um, but so to answer, I, I, just to tell you, this roster is on purpose to beat your 16. And short mm -hmm. of people bringing face me, which it's rare, um, I think I'm hugely advantaged in what happened here. Uh -huh. And then my I can also play Black Order at 15, which is better than your 16 Black Order, which you can't play at 15. So <laughs> yeah, that's right. it's, it's sort of the mind game of like, I'm one lower than you, so I actually have more agency on the threat values. Mm -hmm. So, um, But, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, didn't matter in the end because you played great and things went well. So good luck in the next rounds, man. I'm happy for you. Thanks. Also, you're Thanks. from Spain, which is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the the Spanish meta is full of good players. I think they're going a bit under the radar at the minute on the TTS scene, but there's some great. Yeah, this, great players. this season wasn't really good for us. Jamorf and SP got knocked out in the in the league and couldn't make the cut, and they have been making. Cuts. Uh, well, Jabor has made a few of them, and SP made uh, last uh, league. He made the cut. Yeah. So at least uh, we still have one uh, <laughs> in the cut. Sploosh, I want to take you back to turn zero. Um, so you knew what you were going to be facing. You knew you were going to be seeing the classic Black Order 16. Oh, no, that's not true at all. Really? Actually, I was looking over his roster like a day or so ago because I really I wasn't even sure if this game would happen. And then I looked it over. He's running Loki with like a swarm list, and I would not want to have to deal with that as Black Order. So I was kind of like, oh man, um, like what, what, like if basically I was scared he would go like more of a swarm and then I'd be caught with this like Thanos thing, and then he might be able to like kill Thanos um, with that. Like, I think, I, like, I don't know. I like what happened here. This is like my best case scenario. I just lost anyway. Um, but I think if he went swarmy with, and I brought this roster, I would be pretty nervous because um, he would have a lot of firepower. And he's got crazy, like, dark rain, and, like, you could just dark rain my Thanos and just blast. Um, so 
Yeah, I, I was more worried about him bringing... And, then, like, he has Loki, which is, like, a menace. Um, like, Loki against my Thanos. My, like, my one-gen Thanos hates Loki. Um, Kingpin hates Loki. Uh, so, I don't know. I actually think he'd probably destroy me if he brought even the Loki version of his roster. Mm. I was actually expecting that a little bit. I just think the way the objectives played out, that I, for some reason, I just my gut told me he would play uh, Black Order, even though I actually think he's like kind of like anti Black Order system. I, I assume you did that um, rookie on purpose, like having Loki in the twos and stuff to to actually be able to take down Black Order, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I think it's kind of a, uh, and uh, I. I am one of the only, well, uh, Sin Cabal, I think, is the only one who can bring um, six guys on 14, apart from Guardians, but Guardians have Nebula, who doesn't count, you know? Yeah. So that's why I got my two uh, twos, Bullseye and Bob, and yeah, I can play uh, Swarm if I don't get a proper matchup with Black Order. And uh, also, uh, Sin Cabal is awesome in Research Station because even if you lose it, you might uh, get the the dice roll correct, and you are the one moving the researcher, even if you lost it. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it, it's awesome because 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 of the timing. You know? Yeah, that is I, how that works. I think I knew that and then forgot. <laughs> so, I, I I yeah I played it only once and it, uh, I really liked it and I'm like okay maybe I can do it. But uh, I, I, you know, and I knew. Well, I know you from the podcast and everything, so I know you're a good player. And I was like, I'm not gonna su surprise him if I play sink a while like that because I don't have so many reps. So I just went in safe mode. Yeah. Splish, was there any? And yeah. What, what you said about Loki is correct. Uh, I was thinking uh, maybe if I played 17, if I chose 17 instead of 16. I could play Loki instead of Proxima, mm, but I'm not sure it's gonna. I mean, it's, it was gonna mess up with your Thanos a lot because of the only the mind gem. Mm. Mm, but I don't know, having the double activation, even though Proxima, apart from the face me, didn't do any other thing. But I think she's a threat. I think if you pick uh, 17, Sploosh is gonna drop a Corvus Proxima instead of Thanos, probably. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, that not, would be cool too. Not, not guaranteed, but then that gives him an out because he gets to punch back moderately hard uh -huh. against your against your key models. So maybe that's. I think you're right to pick sixteen. I was actually glad he didn't pick seventeen because, to be honest with you, I had no idea like exactly what I was gonna do. Like, <laughs> like I might bring in Panther and try to go like a little bit more like pushy and tanky it's mm -hmm. and like i wouldn't be as sure what he would do i'm pretty sure he wouldn't take black order though would you have taken black order at 17 mm. <laughs> I, I don't even know mm. i don't even know yeah i don't think he would have taken black order and maybe i'm wrong but it, mm -hmm. and then i just the game gets crazy and with all the characters he would be bringing i would be really under pressure to kill something and then it'd be a question of corvus or panther which one of them i'd pick i'm just really not sure mm -hmm. Some people were interested, Sploosh, in your choice of Hood. Did you consider Black Cat there, even though it's research? No, Hood was there to try to... Because I knew Thanos would be attacked. Um, and I just wanted Hood to try to, like, heal him. It just face me was just such a mess up of everything, you know? The spacing was terrible and dying was terrible. I, you know, I just didn't have those things as an option. But, like, Hood would have been online there to, like, heal Medpack. Thanos and if then if my Thanos doesn't die I don't think I can lose this game because I always go last with Thanos it's like impossible for him to yeah to stop me from moving the research yeah you know you're right that, that's why I had to go all in on him because he right. was the, 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 the biggest uh, threat yep which is why Hood's in here <laughs> also, that makes you sense you just need a body like to do stuff and Hood can whittle down Corvus, and then and I can randomly just steal Pryo and then take out Corvus. So my goal was to keep Corvus at like two health left, and mm -hmm. steal Pryo, and then take him out. Mm -hmm. But and Hood's great at that, but I, it just didn't work out like that at all in the game. Mm -hmm. I was pretty desperate once Thanos went down. It kind of ruined everything. Yeah. 
Mm, okay. That's it. Cool. Well, uh, guys, any of my co-commentators got any questions they want to ask? He's muted. Or uh, no, I'm I'm good. Pretty much everything I've answered is fun to watch. I love the face me was really interesting because I've never seen that with Black Order before. Um, I use it a lot. I guess. Uh, to get rid of yeah. the sacrifices and the bodyguards. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um, like, because you guys were talking about before, my biggest thing earlier was on the face me. Um, I was actually advocating for you to attack Corvus with it, not um, Proxima. What do you think about that instead? Uh, I couldn't push Corvus away, so it was pointless. And if I juiced him up, I was super dead. That's fair. Yeah. I just needed to get lucky. Like, I needed him to flub a roll and then, like, live just one health would have been fine. And yeah. it didn't work out. Yeah. That's uh, all you can really do in these things is take the chances. And as you said, you, you took you took every chance until you felt you you didn't have it. But coming back from that is, um, Rookie, did you, know, did you feel that there were points where, um, you know, you were afraid when you, you started to see Splush take these chances? You know, did you feel that pressure? Yeah, uh, I didn't see uh, wrapping up until I KO'd Thanos. Because even even though I injured him, uh, I did him really fast. Uh, I couldn't uh, get rid of him and he met back and he would still be moving last. So actually when, when he activated him a bit earlier than usual, uh, I was glad because, well, uh, also because he fluffed his role, but uh, he didn't do uh, much that turn. So after I got rid of Thanos, it was a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for uh, an entertaining game. Uh, good luck in the next round, Rookie Boy. And Sploosh, I'm sure we'll be seeing thanks. you in Season 8. Yep, definitely. Good luck again, uh, Ricky. It's awesome. I hope you win. Thanks, Splush. Good game. All right, guys. And uh, thanks to, uh, to you guys for letting the stream it. And thanks to my co-commentators, uh, slash Judge Dizzard, who didn't have to step in at all, I don't think. So uh, good job. Um, <laughs> and we will see it's you guys. Very clean game. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the top 16. Okay, bye. Later.